Hi there, and my name's North, and welcome to my channel. Now today, as you've probably seen in some other videos, we're going to be doing a little bit more painting on the coaches that I uh, was given and I'm respraying. So today I'm going to focus on just uh, spraying the roofs in, uh, in the dark grey. So uh, without further ado, let's get on with it. Right, so the first thing I'm going to do uh, for actually putting on the final colour <coughs> is... Uh, this coach roof and I'm going to be doing it in a darker grey and I've picked the Vallejo model air in US grey and hopefully this is um, uh, the right colour but we'll soon find out um, now I have taken some advice um, from uh, Andy Hudson who I believe is from the Worley um, Society the Worley Model Railway Society and club um, and he's a, a, a comment on my uh, last videos and uh, told me a few things to uh, to try and do so uh, Andy hopefully I've um, followed all your advice um, and hopefully this is going to work but uh, first thing we're going to do is I'm going to mix up the uh, the colour with some um, F airbrush flow improver um, it should help to stop the tip dry um, however I'm no good at spraying so may help may just happen anyway but uh, we'll uh, come back in a second and we'll give it a go so as you can see hopefully that'll uh, zoom in that's made a nice coat of it. Thank you to Andy for all the, the tips that you gave me there. Um, especially the one about the, uh, the, the cakes down the turntable because that really does help. Um, and also Andy mentioned coming off, uh, make sure that you come off the paint before you come off the air. So another great tip that has stopped pretty much all the splatter that I encountered um, when I was doing the, 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 the base coat. Um, so as you can see, a beginner has actually managed to produce somewhat of a good finish on this uh, this coach roof. So, like I say, it's not easy. There's a learning curve to it, but it's not impossible and it's not that hard. And if you uh, feel that you would like to have a go at it, then go ahead and have a go. Or if you know someone who's got an airbrush, ask them to have a go. Um, it's not as hard as you think. Uh, but you make sh have to make sure that your uh, equipment is clean and is cleaned and there is a uh, obviously a chore to that but those are the results and if these are the kind of the results you want to get and probably if you're better than me uh, most likely then you'll get uh, a lot better results but I hope you can agree that that uh, result there is not is not too bad a result um, so what I'm going to be doing is mask off the other two uh, coach bodies so that I just paint the roof and uh, I'll get them done and show you them at the end. Right then, so here is um, one of the other coach bodies that I've now masked off. I've been using uh, some very well-known um, tape uh, that painters use. Um, could be better, I suppose. I could have done it better. I've got to watch out to make sure I don't get these corners in the way um, so that I can have an even coat over the entirety. Uh, of the um, the roof, uh, I did do the other end a little bit <coughs> better. Um, one of the things you'll notice is there's a bit of a, a line here. That's because I actually <coughs> the, the the tape is a lot wider than this, and I cut it down. And I cut it down too much. So um, I've got the other body to do, as you can see. So I shall do that, and then I shall crack on with uh, spraying these as well. Um, obviously didn't skimp on the tape this time, um, don't, it's not worth it, it takes a lot longer to do it um, than not. So um, on to spraying. <laughs> Yeah. 
you agree they're starting to look a lot better than they uh, originally were um, obviously thanks to Andy for all the tips that you gave me um, this just this little uh, cake table has been uh, worth its weight in gold to be fair it's made spraying much much easier so uh, if you are considering it uh, do consider those um, but as you can see for a beginner these coaches are not starting to look not half bad um, obviously another two colors to go yet on the side um, and the ends will be black so uh, but overall first impressions are pretty good. I'm pretty pleased with the result and I hope you are too. So I'll leave you with that shot. Uh, thanks for watching. Thank you to all my uh, subscribers um, who have subscribed recently. I really do appreciate it um, and I hope you enjoyed this and uh, the next instalment will come very soon. Thanks again for watching. Bye. Thank you.